just been on a walk, it was really nice and um, I collected some wild strawberries which is always nice. So I was thinking if I was going to stay here long term then I would have to start thinking soon of building my own shelter. I would probably go for either an A-frame or a lean-to across these two trees. This is quite a good location, it's quite sheltered from the wind and the rain. And then I'd probably think about having a fire inside my shelter. I think that's quite a good idea when people set up just a small fire inside just to keep warm and keep everything quite dry and it saves you having to cook outside in the rain and things like that. Eventually, if I was in this location, I would need some sort of water collection device. I have got some water from my tarp because I angled it slightly and left my uh, bush pot there last night, but it'd have to be a lot better system than that. Like I mentioned before, there isn't any water around here, so that would be my best option, collecting rainwater. Yeah, so that would be one of the big changes, setting up a proper shelter. And then eventually I'd have to start thinking about food. As you've seen, I haven't been eating a fat lot. Uh, I've been going the whole days without eating and then just eating some small amount of rice in the evenings. So. Obviously long term that isn't going to be very good for you, it's going to, you're going to get cold a lot more quickly. You're prone to more accidents because you've obviously got a lot less energy. I think you'd lose a lot of weight obviously doing camp chores and walking and things like that burn a lot of calories and I'm not replacing them calories so over a long period of time I think you're going to lose a lot of weight so that's what the next step would be. I'm not that confident with when it comes to hunting and that sort of thing because I haven't done it a lot. Um, but yeah, that's probably something that I should work on. Being here has taught me that, that hunting and setting up snares and traps is a really good skill to have just in case I was in a real situation in the future and I needed to depend on that. I have learnt so, so much from being here and it's been such an amazing experience. I've felt emotions that I haven't felt before. I've probably been the most hungriest I've ever been and yeah, it's shown me a lot of appreciation for the lifestyle I am living. I feel so sorry for people who can't get more than one meal a day and that are living really basic so people in third world countries and things like that who are forced to live a similar lifestyle really simply obviously I agree with having a simple lifestyle and not over, over complicating things but this is like rock bottom living if you are living like this for the majority of your life which some people do and yeah it's quite sad really that they have to live like that and it's not by choice so they have a lot of resilience and I have a lot of respect for people like that but I enjoy doing these challenges it really makes you feel uncomfortable, gets you out of your comfort zone. Um, obviously I, I'm pretty hungry, I haven't seen or spoken to anyone, um, I've had to do everything by myself and my clothes are pretty damp, my boots are quite wet and so is my sleep system. So yeah, it does bring you out that comfort zone. But I feel doing this I feel a lot more connected and I feel a lot more present in the moment. Mother Nature is really harsh and if you don't have the right equipment it makes it a lot 
more challenging. So I'll definitely be doing another one of these challenges and I'll take what I've learnt from this one and bring it into another one. I might extend the duration um, and I might add things into it, just mixing it up a little bit. It would be cool to do it in an area like Wales or Scotland, somewhere where you do have a water source and it's a different environment. Uh, obviously you could include collecting water and a bit of fishing that way, but yeah, I'll have to see because this has been really good. It's taught me a lot, not only about survival, but about myself and how I operate. And I feel in life, in life you need to have challenges and hardships to really understand how you work and operate and what you're like as a person under stress and discomfort and things like that. And that's why I like doing these because every time I do learn something more about myself and you get that one step closer to kind of knowing and finding yourself. I think if I had to evaluate and think of things that I really miss, it would probably be having intelligent companionship, so just someone to speak to and communicate with and share the experience with. I do really enjoy doing solos, I absolutely love them um, and yeah I get a lot out of doing solos but if this was going to be long term then I think you would miss people, we are social creatures and we are supposed to be with people so I think that's the main one. Um, probably the next one would be food. I haven't had a lot of food and the only thing I've had is rice so yeah probably some meat or something different than just eating plain rice um, and that's where hunting comes into the equation because you can add an animal you catch and add it with the rice and that would be a lot better so yeah they're probably the main two I don't really mind drinking straight out of my bush pot, um, having bland nettle tea. The shelter has been alright so far. I think it would have to be more secure, especially if there was really torrential weather like strong winds and rain. It has been raining but the wind wasn't too bad so it's been okay so far. But that would probably be my next step but other than that I haven't missed that much I've been okay with the comfort factor I've been okay with um, with not being completely dry not having spare change of clothes um, having a mobile phone um, things like that really it hasn't bothered me too much what I like about doing this experience on my own is when you do solos and you go alone I feel you become a lot more present and you're more aware of what's around you so I like that factor of it. When you're with somebody, you, you're always talking, you're always chatting or communicating in some shape or form. So I feel you kind of miss what's around you and your environment and things that are going on when you're with somebody. And you're not really focused inwardly on your thoughts and ideas and feelings. And you're more focused on somebody else's life or a topic that you're both talking about so yeah another thing is I feel doing solos you do get really selfish so with everything you do your routine things you get up to is all down to you and you decide what you do and things like that and how 
maybe how I'd ration my food, it could be differently if somebody else was here, the shelter could be different, the fire, everything could have changed if somebody else was here. And I, I just feel sometimes you do soak in the experience more when you're on your own. Obviously it's nice to share it with somebody and share that experience together and go through hardship together brings people closer but I feel it's getting a balance, it's doing both everything in life should have a balance and um, that's what keeps things healthy and ticking over and I feel like you should have time find time to be with others and share experiences with them and appreciate people who are there for you but I feel on the same token you should be spending time on your own and self-reflecting and focusing inwardly on yourself and obviously doing this has really done that So I've just got a piece of moss to strop my knife as it's going a bit dull. So the sun just came out, as you can see, I'm very happy about that. I am, um, yeah, I just had, I went for a little bit of a walk to warm up a bit and enjoy the sun. Feels like I haven't seen the sun in ages because the weather's just been really miserable. So that was nice. I probably walked about four miles today because um, I know the area quite well, so I know the sort of roughly the distance covered. Um, so now I'm feeling a bit bonked. I'm going to get my fire going and cook some rice. I also collected some of this on my walk. It is pine resin, so it is really good stuff, especially when starting a fire. So I'm going to use some of that with my fire tonight and then keep that because I've got loads there. Um, but it's really good stuff. Got my new spatula to eat off tonight. Right, so dinner is served. Bon appetit everyone. Nice bit of rice. So I'm going to enjoy this and uh, I'll get back to you in a bit. 
just gonna stay around the fire as well this looks like it's gonna have another downpour in a minute so I'll probably heat up some of these rocks um, to stay warm like I did yesterday I've just gone and collected some more bracken as the existing stuff was quite damp and compressed. So I'm going to line the inside with that now. That is another day that's come and gone. Crazy how quick it's gone. This will be my third night tonight. It's actually started brightening up. The weather's turned really nice. The sun's out and it's just setting behind me. I feel like I've started to get into a routine now, like collecting my water, the fire, sleeping under here is finally fitting into place and becoming like a routine and uh, hmm. I was analysing like the whole experience and something that you guys probably wanted to hear is do I regret the choices of the items I bought with me do I wish I didn't bring something do I wish I did bring something with me and to be honest, I'm pretty happy with my choices. Like everything I chose has been a necessity. Like I've really needed it. But I guess one item that I do actually miss a lot is my hatchet that I had. So I maybe trade it out for the knife, but then I wouldn't have my 90 degree spine for my ferro rod. But I could always come up with another system but yeah, I'd say the hatchet for me would be my most missed item. 
just I feel it's great for banging like pegs in or the stakes for my pot hanger um, splitting wood um, and making the initial pegs like taking material off a of wood and putting a spike on a on a stick or a log is quite it's quite good for that really good so that's probably one item that I do miss so what a relief it is to take my wet boots off they are absolutely soaked and uh, I didn't really realise it until I took them off and felt my socks were really damp so yeah it's a nice feeling taking the socks and the boots off So thank you so much for watching this video, I've had such an amazing time, it's been a really great camp out and uh, I've enjoyed every part of it. I've learnt so much from this trip and uh, I'll definitely be doing a similar challenge to this soon, so beneficial. So thank you so much for watching, thank you to all my Patreons for all your support, it really means a lot. Take care everyone. Mm -hmm.